Okay, uh, I wanted to go ahead and do some examples from our homework worksheet. Uh, so this first one I'm going to look at is number one on our um, polynomial and rational functions uh, day one homework worksheet that I included with our assignment today. Uh, so here we want to find out what is the end behavior of this function. And if you recall, there's two things we need to know. Um, is the leading coefficient positive or negative? And is the degree of this function even or odd? So my leading coefficient is negative. And my degree is even. So if we recall from my notes, then um, if I've got negative, this is going to be going down on the right-hand side. And since it's uh, an even function, it's going to be symmetric. So this, this graph looks something kind of like this, right? That's just a little bit of a rough sketch of it. So now let's go ahead and write our end behavior. As x approaches positive infinity, well, what happens to f of x? As we go out to positive infinity, it goes down towards negative infinity. So f of x approaches negative infinity. And because this is an even graph, they both have the same end behavior on either side. So it, here in this case, as x approaches negative infinity, then f of x also approaches negative infinity, right? Because both sides of this function are pointing down. This is an even function, so both sides will have the same end behavior, and it was negative, so it must be pointing down. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another example. This is number eight from the worksheet, and I chose this one because I thought it's um, a great example of showing here, you know, you've got this huge polynomial, but what we really matter, or what we're really caring about here, is this x to the fi five term. This is the only one that really bears any weight on the end behavior. All of this other stuff doesn't really um, affect that at all. So what we want to remember is then what is the leading coefficient and the degree. And those will tell us what the end behavior is. Well, we don't see it here, but we've got that hiding one out in front of x. So my leading coefficient is one and it is positive. Now, our degree of this polynomial, well, the largest of um, my exponent values is 5, which is odd. So this is um, going to go in opposite directions, but on the right side, we know it's going up. So it has to look something kind of like that. Well, how do we write n behavior for that, right? as x approaches positive infinity, and I'm going to go ahead and write as x approaches negative infinity. What we see here is we're going off the right side, it's positive, it's rising. So f of x approaches positive infinity. Now looking at this right, uh, left side of the graph, because it's an odd function, they will have opposite end behavior. So here, f of x, as it's approaching negative infinity, it is going down, down, down. So it is approaching negative infinity for the value of f of x. I'd like to do one more quick example with you, and that is to just describe the end behavior of each polynomial function with the following characteristics. This is number 13 on your worksheet. Uh, negative leading coefficient with an odd degree. So let's think about that. Negative tells me that as, pardon me, as x is approaching positive infinity. Since it's negative, that tells me that f of x is approaching negative infinity, right? We get that first piece of end behavior from the positive or negative leading coefficient. Now this is an odd degree function, so its end behavior has to be opposite on each end. So when x is approaching negative infinity, 
then, well, if on the first side it approaches negative infinity, here this one must approach positive infinity. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to contact me and have a great day.